Hi, welcome to coding. We have been asked by our president, Sherry Utash, to add a section on coding into our computer application classes. The reason for this is because she gets a lot of calls from employers wanting to hire our students if they have computer coding experience. So we want you to have at least a little bit of information of knowing what computer coding is and if you're really interested in it you can go ahead and take some more extensive classes here at WSU Tech to get more coding background. We just literally scratch the surface. We use a program called Scratch that was developed by MIT for uh, elementary school students. It's very basic and very easy. Now if you've had coding experience we still want you to do these assignments but you can be a little more creative if you want to. If this is all brand new to you, just follow the videos and do exactly what the videos tell you to do. And I can guarantee you, you'll have fun. If you have young kids you're around, chances are they've used this program before. Talk to them. Ask them to show you how to do the coding. Nothing is more exciting for our young generation to be able to teach the older generation something new. So don't be afraid to ask them for help. So here in in our class, I'm going to go click on Animate a Name, which is the first coding assignment. And I'm just going to walk you through how to get to Scratch and how it gets set up. There's a lot of information here for you. We are going to come down here it's where it says first open an internet browser. We are going to go to the CS First website right off the bat. This is where you need to create your account. Now this is a free program so you're not having to pay anything extra to get this knowledge. We're going to click on sign in the very first time and you're a student so sign in on I'm a student. And it wants you to enter in a class code. So in Blackboard in coding there it, your instructor is going to have a class code for you and it's going to be um, a, a small code. I'm going to use one in here that is one from one of my classes, SM58FX. You don't want to use this code because it doesn't have all of the assignments like what you have. But this is a way to get you going, let you know what your class code is and your teacher name. So make sure your teacher's name is the same. So then do you need a new username and password? You're going to say yes. And you want to write this down. Now what I do is I actually take a picture of it with my phone because that way, I mean, I always have my phone with me and that way I always have this code. So because you only need to really do this once. So I have a picture of it on my phone or you can write it down if you want to and then sign in. So here you see your class and all of the activities and again remember this is not the right code for this class so make sure you get the code from your instructor. Um, I'm going to click on animate a name. All of your codes and your coding assignments are listed there. We're going to click on start and right away there is a video that you need to watch and this is just a video to introduce Hi, you my name is Olga. I work in Computer Science to the animated name. You're going to watch the instruction video. Here's a starter project. We're going to click on the starter project. Each one of your coding assignments will have a starter project. You want to make sure you click on that link. When you get to that link, you're going to come up here to the right hand side and make sure you sign in. And you're going to sign in with that name that you just had. Let me get mine. It always starts with the CS and this one is 4234252 and then I'm going to enter in my password. Oh, eight cheesecake. And then you're going to sign in. You can save that password if you want to, if you're on your own computer or not. The username and password, that CS number, make sure you send that to your instructor because 
that's the only way we know who is doing these programs if we have that CS number. First thing you're going to do once you get here is you're going to come up here and you're going to hit this remix button. That's kind of like a save button. You're remixing it. And now as you're working on your assignment, just you're going to do what it tells you to do. And when you're finished with it, you'll hit the share button. And now your instructor will be able to see it when they go in. Your assignment will be right here. If you want to go back, you're just going to click See Inside, and that's going to take you back to your screen. So again, you're going to watch these videos, and then after the video is finished, in this case, you're going to choose these different add-ons. You're going to do some different things with your with your letters and with your word, and then you would click the Next. And there's going to be a survey. Now, the surveys you don't have to complete if you don't want to complete them. This is something that CS First uses for their for their classes. Click Next and then wrap up, save, and share your project. So as long as you share your project, then your instructor will be able to go back in and look at your program or look at your, look at your project and be able to grade you on it. So again, up here I have my classes. And so you can click back on your classes and then you can just go on to the next assignment. Um, you can complete all of them um, just as long as you have them completed by whatever your due date is, if you want to go in and just spend a weekend and work on all of them and get them done, you can. So that is how you're going to be working with the coding in the class. So have fun, enjoy it, and remember, watch your due dates and make sure you send your instructor your CS number for coding.